Well, good morning. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to Newport News Shipbuilding and to the christening of Gerald R. Ford, CBN 78. Distinguished platform guests, our sponsor, Susan Ford Bales, Huntington Ingalls Industries Corporate Leadership and Board of Directors, Navy Flag Officers, elected officials, union leadership, the crew of Gerald R. Ford, shipbuilders, ladies and gentlemen. We are so pleased you could join us and take part in today's ceremony. My special thanks to Captain Hinson for delivering the invocation this morning and to our Eagle Scout Color Guard Troop and the United States Fleet Forces Band for their roles in opening our ceremony with such patriotic spirit. I'd like, also like to offer my special thanks to the University of Michigan Quartet for their fantastic performance of our national anthem. Thank you all. I would also like to expend, extend special thanks to all of you for sharing in this celebration today. We have many people who have traveled to be here, Ford family, friends, and colleagues who served in President Ford's administration. It is truly an honor to have you with us. I'd especially like to recognize President and Mrs. Ford's three sons, Michael, Jack, and Stephen, who are here with their families. The President's brother, Dick Ford, is also joining us today. Thank you, sir, for being here. We have really been overwhelmed by the outpouring of respect and admiration for President Ford from everyone who wanted to be here today. There are far too many to recognize, but I would like to welcome two very special people. They don't travel much anymore, but they wanted to be here to honor their shipmate. They are proud World War II veterans who served aboard USS Monterey with President Ford. Mr. Dominic DeMassey and Mr. John Pfeiffer. We are We are deeply honored that you could be here, and we thank you for your service to our country. Today is a very special day for the Ford family, for the Navy, and for our shipbuilders. The video that kicked off this ceremony shows four years of work condensed into a mere four minutes. Although I don't tweet or Facebook or any of that stuff, I am told it will be available on our social media sites. I'm also told it'll probably go viral. Again, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I do know the video was pretty amazing to watch. It shows the very best of engineering, design, manufacturing, and construction, of taking raw steel and turning it into something beautiful yet lethal. It shows the magic of shipbuilding. But what it can't show in four minutes are the late nights, the countless weekends away from family, and the long hours spent building this fine ship. What you can't feel are the freezing cold winter mornings or the blistering heat of an August afternoon. It doesn't show the work of our suppliers from across the United States, and four minutes doesn't show the thousands of shipbuilders right here in Newport News whose hands and hearts have touched this mighty vessel. It is truly remarkable. Today, I am extremely proud to be here representing the 23,000 shipbuilders of Newport News. They are the magic and art behind the science of shipbuilding, and they make it all happen.
I'm also extremely proud to see so many shipbuilders here today with their families. We couldn't build the most complex ships in the world without the support of our families. And we thank you for being here with us today and every day. CBN 78 represents years of hard work that began as a design concept, now engineered into the complex machine we celebrate today. She represents the U.S. Navy's continued dominance of the seas, and she represents the very best of American manufacturing, built in the USA by a, an all-American workforce. For more than a century, generations of Newport News shipbuilders have built ships under this guiding principles. We shall build good ships here at a profit if we can, at a loss if we must, but always good ships. We take great pride in this responsibility to never sacrifice quality and integrity to always do what's right for our Navy and for our nation. This creed also exemplifies the manner in which President Ford lived his life, from his early childhood as an Eagle Scout to his service in the United States Navy and later as the nation's 38th Commander-in-Chief. To Susan and the entire Ford family, we want you to know we feel a tremendous sense of pride and ownership and responsibility in the role we play building upon President Ford's legacy. Because we know when USS Gerald R. Ford joins the fleet in 2016, she will reign the seas for 50 years. She will stand as a symbol of sovereign U.S. territory wherever she sails. She will represent her namesake, a man who embodied integrity, honor, and courage. And she will forever carry with her the spirit of her sponsor, the strength of her crew, and the heart of her shipbuilders. Thank you. Before I introduce our next speaker, our current governor, I'd like to recognize our new governor-elect, Terry McAuliffe, who is also here today. Thank you for being here. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Governor Bob McDonald, a man who is no stranger to business, education, or service to our country. He has dedicated his life to public service, serving 21 years in the United States Army, both active duty and reserves, retiring as Lieutenant Colonel in 1997. He was first elected to public office in 1991 and has always been a strong supporter of Newport News shipbuilding and manufacturing in general. In 2011, he signed a bill that allowed us to build our new apprentice school, which is just weeks away from opening. He understands the importance of jobs and having a pipeline of educated, skilled individuals to fill those jobs. 